Kevin, how are you? Yeah, I'm very good, thanks. Uh, just want to ask you about the, the group you're training with. Um, it seems to be a good click kind of between, I know uh, Queen isn't here, but with uh, Mark as well. So there's a nice little group that you're continuing to push each other on to new levels. Yeah, definitely. Like like you said, Quivian isn't in this week, but uh, Max has been in. He's been brilliant every time he's been brought in. But yeah, myself, Mark and Quivian, you know, we've been with each other uh, quite a while now and uh, we're always pushing each other to be better. And, you know, between us and Dean, you know, we make really good sessions. Last year we said Hampton was a bit up and down. I know there was a bit of issues there with some of the fans and different things this season. Has the past few weeks been a good positive run for you? And do you still feel like you're definitely Ireland's number one? There's uh, there's been a lot of changes at Southampton, yeah, and the the last week of games has been you know a lot a lot more solid than uh, the the couple of weeks before, and it looks like we're starting to gel together as a team. But like I said, I've said for a long time, you know, every every time I'm stepping on the pitch, I'm fighting for my place, whether that's at my club or my country. Never sitting anywhere secured of any position. I know every day I'm fighting for my place. Do you feel like a more senior international? Uh, I think. I think it's been mentioned with the group, you know, we've uh, we've had a lot of senior players who aren't in this squad and it's it's time now for a lot of the, the younger lads, you know, we call them young lads, but a lot of us have a lot of experience playing uh, at international and club level and, you know, it's time for us to, to step up and take that role. And listen, you're a 20, 28 was this morning, part of the Public Baron as co-host, you can look forward to that possibly, hopefully. Um, is it great for the country and the game here? Yeah, it's massive, you know, it's a, it's a very exciting moment for us as as players and for the fans as well and you know it um it just gives us great motivation to to be there you know that's that's what we want to do we want to be playing at major tournaments you know for a lot of the squad who who haven't been there we've we've had uh, words of wisdom from from older lads as what it's what it's like to to be in that position and for me as a as a young kid looking on as a fan knowing what it can do to a country to to bring us to major tournaments I suppose just following on from that um Disappointment of this current campaign can actually be put aside for the day anyway with, with, with the great news of the, of the Euros coming to Dublin. So, there's some like yourself, we know, spoke to Evan earlier, it's making of a, of a great team coming through. Do you think that it could be really set to hit, hit the uh, peak around that sort of 2028 era? Yeah, I think we've we've got a we've got a great squad, and like I said, you know we we've been called young players with a lot of potential. But I think it's uh, it's now time for for us to step up as a group and you know really show how good we are as players, and um, you know to build this really good culture within the squad, uh, within the team, and start putting in really high class performances and get results. Just a quick one on the actual, um, I suppose, the campaign just gone and the management. Um, Matt was in earlier. He was saying there was. That the team are put out the way the right way and trained or the right way in the training ground and stuff. Doesn't there doesn't appear to be any dissenting voices within the dressing room uh, regarding the manager's tactics? Is, is everyone all on the same on the same hymn sheet in that sense? Everyone's full support of them. Yeah, definitely. I think there's there's never been a sense of anyone working off their own hymn sheet. Um, we've all always been together as a team. We've always had a really strong group, and you know every player on the pitch, every player on the bench, every player in the squad has all been always working in the same direction. Just a quick one. Right. Yeah, yeah, hopefully something special happens. And just speaking back to last month, there was a talk about the team game, but as goalkeeper, the Sunderland, the five minutes of two internationals, and then the rest of the team came out and said they were going to win. How did you find the next strength to get the team to cope with that, with the pressure from the fans, from everything else? How did you deal with that? It's part of the game, you know. I'm 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 21 years old, but I've been around the game for a long time. Uh, I think for me, it's I, I listen to the people who are going to allow me to be better. And you know, as a goalkeeper, especially you, the scrutiny is so heavy at the at the top level. And um, for me, I just listen to the people I know who are going to make me better. And just again, last season when you did lose your place, with the five 0 What's the conversation with the manager? Does he assure you? Do, do you have that conversation as if he's still back to you? Number one, there's the famous footage of the, the meeting with fans where he said, you're interested as number one, but does that cover the head? How does he back you in that way after, after a 5 nil that, that you, you can take something from that to, to keep going? Um, I mean, from, for me, it's I'm, I'm looking at myself all the time. And I think with the manager we have, he's, he's brilliant. He's um, not just a great you know, man manager, but he's also brilliant in terms of his his tactics and how he goes about the game and I think the way he speaks with the players is is brilliant. He talks to you on a level, he doesn't talk down to you or anything like that. So 
I think um, he's he's been brilliant for me to to keep my confidence up and to to go into every game with full belief. David Snyder, please. When you're talking about saying belief, and even just Evan was chatting about there beforehand about like, blocking out stuff that you can't control, and maybe that's something that a younger generation of footballers have to realise because of say social media, and maybe the amount of media. So how do you do that then? Like, do you would you have a total blackout of stuff on say like social media or even? not watch certain programs because they might be discussing your own performance? Uh, it can be difficult because of the reach that social media has these days, you know, it's, sometimes it's impossible to, to stay away from it and I think you, you don't want to, like you say, have a complete blackout because you never learn to to really take it on and almost be able to block it out. Um, but you have you have people around you, and you know I think young players now you have to you have to work not just on your your technique and your tactics. It's the mental side of the game that's a massive part. You know of players performing consistently at a high level. So you know I think uh, every player, young player you see out here performing at high levels has different you know mental tactics and mental fortitude to to work against blocking those things out. In that instance, then because obviously the nature of football players are going from different clubs and stuff. But would you speak to your own psychologist then or something like that where? person you would trust yeah exactly finding that balance is a massive part of it because at the end of the day we're, we're footballers but we're all human beings you know you know you have to be able to live your life outside of football um and like you said like yeah i do have someone that i work with both in and outside of the club you know and a lot of people that i trust around me in my in my circle that I listen to a lot and they're the ones that keep me strong. And in terms of saying a lot of stuff out, like going out to Southampton, it's a huge club and obviously being in the Premier League and the fan base that it has, has that been difficult to call or like, they have to deal with any stuff to kind of say gone out and maybe fans come up to or stuff like that? No, I've not really had much much of a problem with that at all. Mom, can just just in terms of I suppose building a resilience and so on, how how big a role has uh, making your debut at such a young age as Shamrock Rovers played and has there been other things in your life that has you know helped you build this kind Yeah, that's a that's a massive thing, you know, being in, in first team football since since the age of sixteen has um led me to a lot of exposure, you know, being at that professional level for for five years now, I've got a lot of experience as to like mentioning blocking out things and being resilient and you know I don't feel like I'd be anywhere near the level I am now without that mental strength um, Gavin you've got a couple of Southampton teammates in this squad just um, Ryan Manning and, and, and Will Smallbone uh, that's a uh, sort of gathering among, it, among them um, just your, your thoughts on them what they contribute I mean Will played in Greece he came off I think early in the second half not really spoken about that um, He's obviously back in again now. Ryan has been waiting to get in and been in around the squad for a little while. What sort of qualities do they have and how important is that sort of a camaraderie of club players playing at international level? Uh, I think uh, to me it doesn't make much of a difference because I've got such a good rapport and relationship with all the lads in the squad. You know, a lot of the lads have been in here for a long time and played with them a lot from, from youth ages, from 21s and uh, the others for two, three years up in, in in the senior squad, and having that relationship with everyone, you know, everyone comes in, they're excited to see each other, and from from the very first training session, you feel today like everyone's on the same level. And you mentioned Will and Ryan, you know, I see their qualities every week in training, and they're they're top players who definitely have uh, the qualities to come in and play for us. How far do you think you can go with Ireland? I mean, you've, you've been off long way very quickly. You're still only twenty one. I have to find a pinch myself to realize how young you are. Jay Gibbon was quite young as well. Packy was twenty one when he got his first cap. Can you see yourself going down that road and becoming, you know, a legend in terms of goalkeeping as they were? That is that a goal? That's definitely my goal. You know, that's I think um, that was my goal ever since I was a kid. But you know, when you get to this level, you can't start thinking like that. You've got to take everything one week at a time, one session at a time. Are you getting better? I try to every day. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you.